So uh, the when when one look at uh, at all the complexities around the notion of value, that's that's what it actually resonates with me. The fact that uh, first one has to understand what what value system are we are we actually talking about or or dealing with, to actually then move from that step to actually play a more I would say constructive role in terms of. Uh, facilitating access, mediating in terms of institutionally to actually um, ensure that those values are actually um, carried on as we regulate activities like in the cultural sector, as we promote them um, for, uh, for society. Um, and I think that this is where the, the need to actually communicate in terms of uh, in a language that uh, um, different stakeholders holding different values actually understand and as again cultural professionals in this field uh, need this ability to actually articulate a different value system to actually convey the message um, around um, arts, culture, heritage and so on and so forth. One, one of the, the, the critical issue uh, at least in terms of the, the relationship between institutions and um, professionals has been actually um, the contestation around the values, what is more important. For instance, if you want to look at heritage sites, it has always been why preserve and why what is preserved by whom and what are the interests and so on. And again, it goes back to the issue of values. What are the value system that actually dominates and what are the conception in terms of um, that, that inform that, that preservation and process. Um, and here is where I think that uh, um, as cultural leaders, uh, one of the roles is not only to understand these different values, but also to articulate in a manner that uh, uh, we, uh, we can engage and dialogue, establish dialogue with all the different stakeholders that have, in a way, one way or the other, values attached to what we do or what we want. The other area um, is also relating that, that one, when, one, when we then think about the values and what is really important, for society, we won't actually be focusing on uh, what is called other instrumental values. I mean, we will be able to actually focus on what really matters, what is important about what we do, and perhaps here we might find the reason of our existence in terms of uh, institutions or individuals working in the field. And, and, and this might be probably one of the ways where we, we will be able to, one, articulate more the purpose of our activities, the relevance for our activity for societies, and uh, for instance, um, our argument of uh, being, needing to be relevant and engage with communities won't be a political one, but will be because we take on board the values that the community consider to be important the values that are associated to um, those different cultural uh, manifestations. And, and I think that this can be also a um, sustainable avenue when one look at issues of uh, how, for instance, culture should be used to improve livelihood of communities, how, for instance, World Heritage Sites can play a role in a place like in, in, for instance, in the in, in, in African continent to help with the development agenda. And, and this, uh, if we uh, consider a point of departure, that is not just the political agendas, but then uh, the notion that uh, as cultural practitioners, we have to engage with the different actors with different value system, then we might actually be able to understand that there is more at stake than what it can appear to be immediate goals.